Christian journey, won't you guide me? While I'm on a Christian journey, won't you guide me? A lot of people think that men, the men in the program, they see the homeless people on the street and that's what they think of. But before they come to my class, they've been drying out and, and been in the mission living for about four months. So they're really in a good, good place when they come into creative living. And they've committed to the program. They sincerely want to change. They want new things. They want a new opportunity. They want to live better lives. Most of the activities that we do in creative living, it's, it's to get them to open up their hearts, to plug in, to get turned on about life. You don't see the change all the time. First of all, when we went to the concert, I know that makes them feel really good when they're dressed up, they look sharp, and they go in and they're in this nice, elegant reception. That makes them feel like they're successful. And then they sit in the concert and they don't clap in the wrong places and they, they're better prepared and behave than the average audience. They feel really proud of themselves. And with some of the guys, they went to concerts when they were little. And they haven't had it in a long time, and they forgot. And I think it was a year ago, I was sitting at a concert, and somebody started to cry. And I said, what's going on? He said, I haven't done this since I was a little boy with my mother. And it just brought back so many memories. I hear that a lot. Because Many of these guys have very loving parents and parents that really nourished them and they made some unfortunate choices. Some had horrible, horrible childhoods with nothing sweet, nothing beautiful about them. Think how important it is if you're coming, you've been sleeping in the street, if you happen to be one of the ones homeless or just living a very unattractive, ugly life, and all of a sudden you're in a beautiful place, all dressed up. That just is a fantastic change, and they feel that. It's really terrific for them, even if they know nothing about classical music, because it, it reaches them in their hearts in a very special way. I mother people that a lot of people wouldn't care about. I'm a very good mothering figure in their life. I think it's important to get them to think. I treat them they're very intelligent. I like them to get those minds working, they, that inquisitive inquisitive, questioning style to get them to think again. They're guys, they like science, you know? Um, so I always try to include some things that, that they will enjoy, that will just get them to question and get excited about science. Henry Ford says, if you think you can or you think you can't, either way you're right. And you can't, they can't be in a position to recover and think they can't. It won't work. They have to think they can. That's the only way they'll make it. <laughs> oh, too much, too much, too much. That's good. That's still good. That's still good. Are we ready? Don't pull yet. Don't pull yet. Y'all got seven. One. Where? Two. Three. Two. A lot of the things I plan, I just let them be. Whatever the response is, and I think it. It uh, says enough. where a lot of people would pass them by and say, ah, oh, they're a loser, they have no... I see potential. 
I see the spark. I see God in them. And they're here and they're important. Thank you. I love you.